I don't consider Sekiro a Souls like, but for see, that was going to be one of the questions. Uh, I don't, if we so, if we okay. consider it in in the FromSoft catalog, uh, Genichiro is probably my my top fight there. Okay, I think I'm not forgetting anybody. Right, the Dark Souls two. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay, so we we got to expand on that because that is a big you know hot button question, hot and button. Uh, yeah, like one of my viewers um, had submitted that question on um. On, on Patreon, uh, I think it was Zero, uh, he said, uh, you know, is Sekiro a Souls game and why or why not, though? So my, my thing with, with the Souls game is I think there's a couple things that are universal to a true Souls game. One is your freedom of approach, whether you're going to be a strength build, dex build, magic build. I think a big thing in Souls games is finding a way to overcome the challenge that works for you, whereas Sekiro... Sekiro, it's just about getting good. Everyone rhythm. is going to have, yeah, yeah, it's about learning the rhythm game. It's about learning when to get those parries. Like, sure, you have different ninja tools and whatnot, but Sekiro is going to be a, a singular experience, comparatively speaking, to House Souls. Because we could both go through Dark Souls or Lies of P or Lords of the Fallen and have very different experiences based on what stuff we use. But if we're, if we're going to all play Sekiro... Oh, we can eat your own. Yeah, you got to parry, 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 and then you got to jump that sweep. You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be that. So I think that that freedom of approach is the biggest thing that I think stops Sekiro from from really being a Souls like. Because um, I mean, yeah, we we die and we lose resources and we have checkpoints, um, but I think that's that's a low a low barrier to mm-hmm. to make something a Souls like. And I think that that freedom of approach for me, at least, that's that's one of the defining factors where Sekiro feels more like a, a you know, action adventure game. Would you maybe rank or say Sekiro is I, I better think, than I any Souls game? Sekiro, I think Sekiro is one of the best games from Soft it's ever done, personally. Okay. I put it ahead of the, the rest of the Souls catalog. Um, mm-hmm. I just think, I think because of that singular experience, I think the combat in Sekiro is extremely tight extremely refined and you know i wouldn't say that that souls games are janky but there is i don't know man like when you're when you're fighting genichiro and you're just hitting every single one of those parries and then he goes for the thrust and you stomp it down you get the Mm -hmm. follow-up like that is a it's at a higher level of success and intensity compared Mm -hmm. to me just dodging a couple of hits and swinging down yeah. my, my great sword to get the kill. And I think that for me personally, that the feeling of overcoming that in Sekiro puts it ahead. Uh, and I just, I just really, really enjoyed it. I had a, an absolute blast with Sekiro. Um, I mean, and obviously this is just, it's, it's very subjective, but I mean, it's yeah. the same thing with like armor core. Like before I played the, the souls franchise, I played armor core and I loved armor core. So like armor core six, I mean, I went through, I got all my S ranks, got my platinum. Uh, that's my, my current game of the year. You know, I've been, been waiting 10 years for Armor Core. And it's because it's it's, it reminds me more of, of Sekiro, where it's about, you know, what is your skill as a pilot? How good are you going to be able to, to dodge this stuff and get in and attack? Um, you know, it's nothing against the Souls games. It's just that, that elevated level of tightness in the combat 